Indian River County Sheriff's deputies say the truck followed the woman all the way down Old Dixie until it came here to this intersection. They say the truck slammed into the woman, but it didn't stop there. They say the truck kept going. Deputies say a truck followed the woman for miles down 4th Street in Vero Beach Saturday night, almost running her off the road. She got away, but she didn't see the driver. Her story shared on the Sheriff's Office Facebook page, hoping to catch a lead. The post found its way to Nicole Monin. And a bunch of people from my community that I live in started linking her story, and I immediately was like, oh my God, this has to be the same person. She says less than 24 hours ago, a similar truck, dark, small, a model from the 90s, followed her on 66th Avenue. My thought was like, if they actually hit me or run me off the road, I'm going into a canal and I don't know what's going to happen. So it's just pure, just panic. She says the truck was so close she couldn't even see its headlights. The white knuckle 20 minute drive home from work that gave her a better look at the truck. She says she's sure it's a Chevy. And Monin says she saw two men inside the cab. I've never had anybody tailgate me like that ever in my life. Literally, I got home and I was shaking. Deputies now looking into Monin's report, searching for the truck, terrorizing the Treasure Coast. And more people are coming forward. We would much rather have somebody call us than not call us and it turn into an incident. Deputies admit these cases may not be related, but urge people to report reckless driving no matter what. This is a photo Nicole Monin shared with us, a photo very similar, she says, to the truck that she saw last night. Deputies want drivers to keep an eye out for a dark colored truck matching that description.